Everybody was ready. What was it like to kind of get that first take? real extended action out there Saturday um, night? It felt good. It felt like all my um, hard work has paid off, but there's more to come. So I'm just trying to stay humble and just trying to get better at what I do. How much did last year's red shirt year kind of prepare you for this? Um, I was behind Tyler Davis and Root, Ruka Roro, and Hayden Page. It's still behind cutting them, and they done taught me so much. They some hardworking people, and you can see all their hard work is paid off in the NFL. So. They, it was definitely a great learning experience, and I'm glad to be where I am right now. So, yeah. Can you walk me through your uh, your first career sack and just how cool was it to have that, had that experience at Memorial Stadium? Um, it felt good. The atmosphere was great. Um, it gave me a real glimpse of what what I could be in life and stuff like that. So. So I hope there's more to come. It's going to be more to come. And I just try to get better at my craft every day. How much does Nick Eason, being your coach, mean to you? And why, what does he demand out of you? Oh, he demands the best. He hold, holds everybody accountable, treats everybody the same. Um, I probably wouldn't be where I am today. He's, I feel like he's the best coach in the, in the nation. So I, I love that I'm under him. And, he, he taught me how to be a man, taught me how to be a, a great player, um, teaching me the fundamentals and teaching me to stay humble and stuff like that. What's the biggest thing that I guess adjust to uh, coming from, I know you're a redshirt freshman, but coming from high school up to college and finally getting that real, real life, these real game experiences? Um, I feel like the hardest thing was like in high school, like most likely you, you're like the best player on the team, so you can, so sometimes you just do whatever you want. But like in college, you gotta really take coaching and learn the fundamentals. Like when talent meets talent, you gotta have great technique, great fundamentals. And I feel like that was really in like learning the game plan. Cause we didn't have that many plays in high school, just learning the game plan, studying film. That just was the hardest thing for me, but I'm doing better now. What are you more proud of, the fact that uh you uh, got that first career sack, or the fact that you know you, you turned in an ACC honor roll collection last year. Um, I'm I'm really proud of. Well, I'm proud of the sack, of course. That was my first one, first of many. But um, I'm really proud of the win for real. I don't hire the team. I wouldn't have got that set without my teammates, without everybody just doing their job, and um, just being like if the DBs wasn't there. I wouldn't have got that. I wouldn't have got that sack. So, yeah, I'm just proud of my team. I've been asking everybody about the film session this week. Um, to have that opportunity as a guy getting some meaningful reps out there and, and starting to see your place kind of grow and develop, how different is that experience when you're watching film and you're learning, but you're learning from yourself, from your own example? Um, it, just, it just feels good just being able to watch me Watch me in there last year. I didn't. I didn't get too many reps. I didn't play too much. Just seeing, just seeing all the, all the plays that my teammates were making just made me want to be there even more. So now that I'm taking a, taking all these snaps and stuff like that, I'm just living in the moment right now. I think there's an expectation that when there's a big win like this, it's kind of like a party session. But like, yeah. it, it, there are parts worth celebrating. But you guys also learned a lot from this on the other side as well. Can you just put a better idea of like what a film session? Like mentality wise and sort of that mood in the room when you guys are going through a game? Um, we're going through formations, going we're going through their sets, their hand placement, um, um just like what they're bad at, what they're good at, show showing what you can do, what you can't do, just showing like like the whole game plan was to keep them in the pocket. So so our pass rush moves was just really like power moves so we can all like clamp them in and keep them in the pocket. And how I got my sack is what I was just taking coach from Coach Eason, and I worked the power move, and that's how I got my sack. So, yeah, um, film sessions really play a lot in this game. So, yeah. That was great. Thank you. Uh, John Blow with the Post and Courier. Um, coach Sweeney was saying that Devontae K. Park got like the big man award for going fastest and yeah. playing 17.9 miles per hour. So, is that something that actually motivates you guys like to? 
go harder, go faster. He's way too than that. Could he is a big dude that moves extremely fast. I don't know how he does it, but he does. He he's really like a beast out there. Like I don't even know. Like he's a three hundred pound man, six five, that moves like a like a DN. He I feel like I don't know. Like he inspires me. He inspires me to do do what I do. Inspires me to be great and. I, I definitely take coaching and teaching from him because they, when I make a mistake in practice, they get on to me. They tell me what I should do and what I should not do. So, like all of, all of my teammates and my coaches, like they're all coaching me at the same time. So, I guess what do you know the fastest you've ever moved on a football field? Um, no, no sir. <laughs> and also, your Twitter handle was just your first name. Have you ever met another Stephylon? No, no, not at all. Um, my um, mama gave me that name. My my dad name. Everybody got a little Steph in it, like Steph in the first name. So they shot the name. All of my siblings like with the same name I got. So like Stefano, and it's the Filan. We got a little brother named Sabrin, and like that's all from my dad. So all of our names start with an S. It's just try to be authentic and stuff like that. Anybody else for Stefano? Um, there's only you guys have 12 regular season games, I guess. How, how big was the win for you guys on Saturday? Um, it was great. It was um, the first win that I got to participate in, so it was definitely my favorite, my favorite game ever, because like I, I definitely got to contribute into that game. So I made some plays, my teammates made some plays, and it was just a great moment overall. And to celebrate with the team after the game, everybody running on the field. Um, getting to like everybody taking pictures with me, um, noticing me, it just felt good and just like it just motivates me to, to want to do it even more. Speaking of celebrations, uh, we was waiting post game in the locker room. Uh, we heard like some music blasting uh, in the locker room. I guess how cool are those moments celebrating with your teammates and what was some of the music that you guys were listening to in the locker room? Um, <laughs> um we just be dancing in the locker room, just taking out, taking in the moment. Coach Wendy shows up late. But I guess he'd be doing interviews after the game. And we should be having fun. Coach Easton be bringing the energy. He, he'd be dancing with us, having a party with us. And we just all just be showing all the emotion from the game and how excited we are. Anybody else for Stefano? Uh, last thing, uh, some of the music, I guess who curates the playlist or is it just uh, random shuffle? Like how does that process go? I don't, I don't know who, who chooses the songs, but um, they're doing a very good job in choosing the songs that we definitely be turned up. So. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Stefan. All right. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate your time.